What is up guys, Charlie Pang is here. Welcome to another tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be creating a t-shirt design in under five minutes. Before we get started, I wanted to give a huge shout out to our sponsor today over at Vexels. Vexels is a website you can go to to get graphic design resources. You can download things like vectors, PNGs, PSDs, the list goes on guys. And they even have an online editor where you can edit graphics straight on the website. It's kind of a big deal, especially if you don't know how to draw and you just need to go online, find a nice vector for your client and get the design done. Why are we wasting time? Let's go and roll that intro and get started. Alright guys, so before we begin this video, I headed over to vexels.com so I can grab that wolf graphic that we're going to be using today. And this website is super easy to use. As you guys can see, they have a bunch of high quality vectors, PSDs, SFGs, and PNGs, and an online editor. The list goes on. They have a lot of stuff on this website. Today, we're just focusing on the wolf graphics. So what I want to do is just type wolf in this actual search bar here and we're going to hit enter really easy. We only have five minutes so we're going to get this ball rolling really fast here. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit until I find the two wolf vectors right there. I've already actually downloaded this so we don't need to do that. So what I want to do is pull up Photoshop and here's Photoshop and basically this is the design we're going to be creating today. So what I want to do is hide it real quick. And this is the wolf that I actually already pulled up in Photoshop. What we want to do is we want to take the lasso tool here or the, either the lasso tool or the polygonal tool. And we're just gonna select around the wolf because I just want the colored one. I don't wanna worry about the other one. Anyway, we're gonna cut that bad boy or just copy it either way. We're gonna paste it in place here and we're just gonna resize it real quick. Resize it, bam, just like that. We don't wanna go too big. So what we are doing today is we're working on a 14 inch by 18 inch document at 300 resolution. We're just gonna be adding some text to this to make a really cool design in a short amount of time. So what I wanna do is go to my ellipse we're gonna draw the ellipse here. I always say draw, but I mean drag out. I don't know why I say that, but anyway, we're gonna drag it out. And what I wanna do is go to my layers real quick. So there's my ellipse, and um, it's hard to see. We're gonna make it a better color just so we can see what we're doing here. So there's the ellipse, and what we're doing is we're basically just putting it right above the head of the wolf because we're adding some text to it. So we can actually drag it down about right there. And then what I wanna do is just go to my T tool, or I can hit T on my keyboard and I wanna hover over the very top of the circle and we're gonna see this faint wavy line up here. Left click and we're gonna type out wolf. We just wanna change the font size real quick. We're gonna make it pretty big and we might change that. And then what I wanna do is go to my direct selection tool down here and just um, basically center it real quick. And as you can see, it just snapped into place. So now it's centered. And um, I just wanna type out squad now. So we're just gonna hide that ellipse and we're just gonna go down here, hit our T tool and type out squad really fast. Again, we only have five minutes, guys, so we gotta hurry. So we're gonna resize squad, and we can either change, we can keep it spread out like that or not. I don't like it spread out so much, so I'm gonna double click here, double left click, hold an Alt on my keyboard and hit the left arrow key and just change that letter spacing, and it's looking better. So we're just gonna move it down just a tad bit, and that looks good, bam, done. Bottom text is easy. What we're gonna do is just duplicate wolf once, so Control J on your keyboard, or you can right click and hit duplicate, and what we're gonna do is we are going to select the direct selection tool one more time and we're gonna see this black dot appear. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hover over it until we see a left and right arrow with an eye in the center or a bracket, whatever you wanna call it. And we're just gonna drag down until it hugs the bottom here. And once it hugs the bottom, what we can do is we can actually drag it down now and we need to reposition it. So it's really easy. Drag this one to the far left we're gonna make it easy. So we're gonna drag that one to the far left and drag this one to the far right and make sure it's inside. And that is actually completely centered now. So we are good. Now what we wanna do is we wanna make this way smaller, okay? And what we're gonna type out is quality clothing since 1991. And obviously it just disappeared, right? But that is completely okay. What we do is take our direct selection tool and just move it up to where the hairs are right here under his, um, his cheekbone. And then we'll do the same thing for this left one right here. So really nothing to it. Now what we need to do is just go to our shapes and just uh, drag out some raindrop shapes or blood shapes. Since it's Halloween's coming up, it makes more sense, I guess. So just go to your shapes, find the raindrop. It's right here and we're gonna drag one out. We're gonna duplicate it, resize it a little bit. So we're gonna have two basically. And we're gonna drag those in place and kind of get a feel for what it needs to look like. So we duplicated it, control T and then flip horizontal, hit enter on the keyboard. And then what you could do is just do the same thing, kind of position it. You can merge both those together and center it. It is centered. And as you can see, 
We just created a design in a matter of five minutes using a vector from Vexels and using some text in Photoshop. There you have it guys. We just created a really cool wolf design using Vexels.com. We went on there, downloaded the wolf vector, pulled it up in Photoshop and created a really, really awesome design in a matter of five minutes. Crazy, but it's possible using Vexels.com. I'll put their links in the description below so you guys can go sign up if you want to try it out and also start downloading some awesome vectors, PSDs, PNGs, the list goes on. That is it for this video guys, but if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a comment below, hit the thumbs up button to let me know you guys liked it, and also subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next one of course, bye.